Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Get ready for another chilly night tonight. Temperatures will dip down below average in a few spots, be just above the freezing mark near dawn tomorrow. This is why we have a frost advisory in effect for the entire Susquehanna Valley between 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. If you have those ornamental plants maybe on the front porch, you need to cover them up or bring them indoors for the threat for some of that killing frost. Outside right now across the valley, skies are clear and they're going to stay that way and the air is dry. That's what's going to allow for the temperatures to fall further through the night tonight. It's 49 right now in the Red Rose City and that air is dry with those dew points in the lower 30. Since we have clear skies, it's a clear scan on live local 8 radar. That will be cha changing by about this time tomorrow. So it is an impact night for the threat for some of that frost out there. I think our major cities will be in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees, but it's those sheltered valleys we could see those lows as low or temperatures dip as low as 34 degrees. So just a few passing clouds first thing in the morning and then the clouds will start bubbling up as we head through the afternoon. It's well after sunset. The shower chances really start to rise and it's going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow with highs up near 70 degrees. Also a stiff breeze developing out of the south southwest. It could gust up to 20 miles per hour. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances for your Tuesday evening into Tuesday night. Highest chances for those hit or miss showers will be after midnight to about dawn on Wednesday. So that's going to obscure the viewing of April's full moon. The moon will rise tomorrow at 754. It'll be full just before it rises. Viewing conditions for the full moon will be fair thanks to the incoming cloud cover. Made it to 63 today. That's a nice rebound after a morning low of 38. That's usually an indication we have dry air. You have a wide temperature range during the day. Started the day off at 35 in Lancaster. Dropped all the way to 31 in Lebanon and also in York. Right now it's 43 in Lebanon. 48 if you're watching us in Carlisle. Temperatures are warmer off to our west right now. 59 in Kansas City and look at the weather pattern across the country. It's pretty quiet up and down the east coast. Skies are mostly clear. We've just got a weak storm system moving across the northern tier of the country. This will bring some clouds in first and eventually the storm system will work its way across the Great Lakes and drag that cold front across the Commonwealth late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. So mostly clear skies tonight. Patchy frost likely may have to break out the ice scraper on the car windshield first thing in the morning. Then here comes that thicker cloud cover as we approach sunset. It's around midnight. We'll have the best chance for some hit or miss light showers also into early in the wee morning hours of Wednesday morning. Cold front moves on by and then the storm's upper level energy will pivot across the valley through the day Wednesday. So some spotty showers will be possible most likely around lunchtime through the evening commute. Most of the valley will stay dry and it's going to be breezy out there through Wednesday afternoon. So temperatures start dropping again. Highs only near 60 degrees, but we're drying back out for Thursday into Friday. Temperatures start to rise with increasing shower chances for your Saturday. May see isolated thunder showers on the day on Sunday with highs up near 80 degrees.